Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be creating this eye look right here for you. I've named this look from summer to autumn and the reason behind it is because I really like the intensity of like the burnt oranges and kind of like the warm yellows which you can use either in summer or autumn and I think you can really get playful with these looks. So that's why I named this eye look right here so that hopefully that makes the title make sense. We hope. <laughs> But if you want to find out how I created this eye look right here, then keep on watching. So I've already prepped my eye using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then what I'm going to do is just dip into Thirsty Palette and cover my eyelid with Parched. So I'm just going to take a Spectrum Fluffy Brush, just get that, and just literally cover my entire lid. Now what we're going to do, we're going to deepen up the crease. So similar to how I've done this eye, obviously, well, exactly the same way as I've done this eye, we're going to deepen up the crease using the shade Kumquat. And I'm just going to use another Spectrum Fluffy Brush and I'm going to just dab in and just blend that into the crease. Start from the outer corner and then gently just move in. And what we're going to do is going to deepen it up until the point where it kind of turns into this gorgeous like deep orange shade. So just keep blending it in and just building that colour up. Now I feel like we've got the base down, I'm going to take a smaller brush, it's just a smaller headed brush and I'm going to dip back into Kumquat and I'm going to literally just define that crease a lot more. So I'm going to just take it and just follow the crease of my eye round. And I just find that this just deepens it up exactly how I want it to and it gives it that really good definition. like so. Now I'm just going to take that bigger fluffy brush and I'm just literally going to blend it out a little bit more just because at the moment it's quite harsh so I just want to blend it out. Now we're going to cut our crease so I'm just going to take my RCMA palette we just use whatever concealer that you have and I'm going to take a smaller flat brush and I'm going to go in with the lightest shade. I don't think these shades have numbers but I'm going to go with the lighter shade and I use the RCMA palette and this is the olive one and obviously that's just because it goes well with my skin tone so you just use the right concealer for your skin tone. And I'm going to take a smaller mirror and I'm going to just cut my crease and you want it to be as neat as possible. So I'm just going to take my time and I'm just going to cut my crease. following the lid all the way across like so now that it's all done I'm going to dip back into the shade parcel which is that light shade that we use in the first place and I'm going to just cover the concealer using that shade just using the fluffy brush and I'm literally just going to pack it on now that's done I'm going to take Kumquat again which is that shade right here. I'm going to take a small brush and I'm literally just going to tap it in and we're going to follow the lid. See how I've done this one? So it looks like eyeliner. So we're going to leave the center which is the cut crease and we're going to just add it just above the lash line. So the way that you'll do it is just brush it into your lashes so it just gives a nice line. So now that is all done, we're going to add the yellow underneath the eye, but before I do that, I need to add some concealer. So I'm just gonna go in with my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, and this is in the shade Classic Beige. This is slightly light for me, which is what I want because it helps the yellow stick underneath my eye. And I'm just going to take this 
brush that I use just to blend in my foundation and concealer. I'm going to just dab that in. You can also use this to kind of like neaten up the edges of your eyeshadow if you've gone wrong in any way. It's a great opportunity to do that. Now I've pretty much dabbed it all in. I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm just going to dab it underneath my eye. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the shade Quench and a small flat brush and I'm going to literally just, this is the first shade you're going to use, you're going to just take it, put it underneath your lower lashes. Now once that base shades down, I'm going to dip into the Huda Beauty Coral Palette. Well, this is the Coral Obsessions and I'm going to dip into that lovely warm yellow shade and we're going to just warm this up a little bit and I'm going to warm it up on both eyes so I'm just going to take it and pop it in. Like so. Now that's done I'm going to take just a shimmer shade and I'm going to take the shade Lick which is this shade right here and this is like a really intense gold shade. I'm going to take this small pointy brush and I'm literally going to just use this in my inner corner. And that's the eye look done. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll jump back on camera and show you the final look. beauties this is the final makeup look so the eye look looks like this I really really love it I kind of named it kind of from summer to autumn so that's how I see it it's kind of taking that you know burnt orange and that summery yellow that kind of just reminds me a little bit of autumn as well and I just love how it's all turned out. I really like the cut crease and kind of just, you know, just using just a few colours just to create this makeup look. It's just fabulous. I love it. I hope you guys really love it too. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with all your friends and I'll see you next time. Bye!